Hey, good morning, Auburn High School, class of 2025, our freshman class. Uh, this is Mr. Gardner, of course. Um, I don't know if you guys have realized this yet. It's uh, it's already December. Today is actually the first day of December. And what I was going to mention is that each of the grade levels has an assistant principal that kind of supports that grade level. At the ninth grade level, um, it's been uh, Miss Morris, Mrs. Morris, uh, Jeanette Morris. Um, she's been with us for two years now, and she's in charge, I guess you could say, of the freshman class as from the administrative level. And she's also on maternity leave right now. So she's going to be coming back the first uh, day of school after winter break. So I'm hoping you'll take time to get to know her. She'll be out and about, and uh, I think you're going to really enjoy working with her. Um, the purpose of this, this video I'm sending you today, I'm kind of substituting for her because we don't have our ninth grade administrator. Mr. Burt's um, kind of been using that role um, as part of his dean work and, and we're all kind of pinching in helping out. But I want to send you a message before we hit the winter break. You know, you get two weeks off for winter break and this is your first year of high school. I can't imagine what this year has been like for you so far, considering last year, you know, it was done pretty much on a screen and then you finished your, what would be your seventh grade year on a screen, you know, from March all the way to June. So. I just wanted to let you know we recognize how hard you guys are working and how you're trying to like fit into a new surroundings auburn high school and for the most part it looks like you guys are being pretty darn successful and the reason i can say that i look at our ninth grade attendance i look at our ninth grade you know grades how you guys are doing and as a class i you know feel very proud about your class um, you guys are doing quite well and even you know, if this is just normal, like if we hadn't had any pandemic, you guys would still be a class that we would say are doing quite well in, in those regards. So keep up the good work. And what we're doing, I've already created a video for the senior class. There's has a little bit of a different message going into winter break. Um, I'm going to give you something kind of similar, but kind of hit it from, you know, you guys are kind of building a foundation this year uh, with credit attainment. Um, every class you pass is going to be worth a half credit each semester. Your Troy time is worth a quarter of a credit each semester. So if you think you're going to have four times, uh, or I'm actually eight times, you'll get Troy time grades for a quarter credit. Your Troy time is worth two credits during your high school career, which is pretty significant because you need 24 credits to graduate. And for most of you, those will be extra credits, which are nice to have. But the piece you get graded on is Zello. And Zello is your high school and beyond plan. And in the state of Washington, every high school student has to complete that. So every semester, you're going to be looked at in those milestone activities or whatever they're calling them in Zello, the activities you do is completing them or not completing them. So make sure you're getting those done and you're staying on top of it. Um, the other thing has to do with your six classes you're taking right now. And uh, what I'd like you to do in the next few days, grades are coming out next Wednesday on December 8th, but I want you to do this. I want you to look at your current grades, okay? Don't avoid it, okay? Because your grades right now are, are mostly true, okay? There might be some grades that are assignments that haven't been graded yet, and you know you're waiting for your teachers to do that, and that's, that's just life. That's just the way that goes. But for the most part, it's going to give you an accurate idea of where you're at for the semester, we break every semester into basically four grading periods. Um, you have midterm one, which we had way back in early October. And then you have quarter one, which happened, what was that, um, November. And then we had the parent-teacher conferences. And then the third one is midterm two, which is going to be December 8th. And then after that point, you have 26 school days between midterm two and the end of semester one to do something about strengthening your grades, maintaining strong grades, and to get as many credits as you can so that you can graduate. So what I would do after you look at your grades, hopefully in the next day or two, and then of course after 12, 8, December 8th, after your teachers um, assign you the grades based on what you've done, is ask yourself, self, can I do better? Okay? Because I want you to be very honest and uh, the reason it's important for you to be honest with yourself is you can't fool yourself, okay? You could tell all kinds of stories and circumstantial things, why you aren't getting things done if you are behind. Um, but at the end of the day, it only matters to you. 
So let that sink in for a minute. Only is going to matter to you because at the end of the day, when you get to the end of your senior year, just like I talked to the seniors earlier, um, when June comes around, you wanna make sure you're in position to graduate on time. Now I'm talking to freshmen, you're now building that foundation so that you're not panicking during your senior year. So what I want you to do over winter break, you got two weeks off, I want you to decide on three things that you can do with your grades, okay, to strengthen them and mainly to learn the material better than you know it now. Okay, so that's the challenge that all the grade levels are going to get from grade level administrators. And even for you that are doing really well, even if you have a 4.0 and you're getting straight A's or straight B's or combination of, or most of your grades are looking really good, I'm still challenging you. And uh, if, if you have more than three things to do, okay, do them. Okay, because at the end of the day, um, this really is about you. Okay, this is high school. Credits matter here. Middle school, no. You just got to move on because of the fine young people that you are, and here you are. But now we start counting credits, and we want you to graduate on time. We don't shame students for not graduating on time, but it just makes life easier when, when students do for them, for the students. And I'm also very proud of our seniors, our fifth year seniors who are here working on their diploma because they've realized how important the diploma is. So that's why they haven't given up. And like I said, I'm just as proud of them for being here. So three things, look at your grades, talk to your teachers. I know as freshmen, it's probably a little tougher to talk to teachers than maybe as you will be when you're a senior. You just could be a little bit more of an advocate for yourself as you get older. And if you're not comfortable talking to your teachers, email them, okay? Get tangible information to help you help yourself get your grades up. That could just be a matter of getting some assignments in and then taking time to do that over winter break. We want you to have some downtime. We want you to relax, be with family, be with friends, enjoy those times. Of course, you know, it's COVID, so be safe too, right? Um, but also take time for yourself because you matter and your grades matter and earning credit matters. And if you're someone who's just skimming by with these, and if you're giving it everything you have, be proud of yourself. But if you can give yourself a little bit more effort towards yourself to get those grades up, by all means do it. When you look back on your high school education, you're gonna wanna make sure that you say, I've done everything I can to put myself in position to be successful after high school. And trust me, you guys, it happens really fast. Talk to some of the seniors you see around if you've made friends with any of them, or if one of them happens to be a sibling or a cousin Ask them how fast high school's gone. It goes really quick. So you got to try to suck up every minute you can and put it to good use wherever you can. So three things over winter break, you decide what those are, talk to your teachers, be strategic about it. You know, if you've got three low grades, well, those are the classes you'd want to work on. If you've got three classes where you know it's pretty easy for you to get your grades up, maybe you focus on that, but do something on your own behalf, okay? Thanks for listening. I hope you'll take this to heart. I hope you'll put some action into it and uh, have a great winter break if I don't get something out to you sooner. Thank you.